Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you why text ellipsis is not working in your flex container. Now, I'm not saying that this will fix your particular layout problem with flex because basically no flex layout is ever made in exactly the same way. But I'll show you two key problems with flex containers that might be affecting your text ellipsis visibility. Okay, that's enough for the intro. Let's go ahead and dive into the code. So here I have my basic HTML page with some flex. Here I have my flex container defined with F class. It has display flex and justify content center. Now here I also have my flex item defined with text overflow ellipsis, overflow hidden and white space no wrap. So these are the basic three properties to make text ellipsis work in any HTML element. Now, these two lines are not that important. They're just here to show us a border and some padding. At the bottom here, I have my HTML flex container and two flex items. Now, actually with this super simple flex setup, your ellipsis is actually going to work. There's nothing wrong with the text ellipsis when the basic text overflow properties are applied. The problem is really not with flex but with overcomplicated designs. So you probably have something like nested elements in your flex layout. And so I'm going to demonstrate that by adding another level of nesting. As you can see, our text overflow is no longer working. The text ellipsis has been broken. And really it's because you lost those initial properties that make text ellipsis work by adding more overcomplicated nesting levels to your flex. If I add the class item to those nested elements, you will see that the ellipsis is back again. And now notice if I also remove it from the outside parent of those containers, the ellipsis is going to disappear again. Now, if you must have overcomplicated nesting in your flex layout, you can apply a style with min width and set it to zero. Now in this tutorial, I'm not going to go deep into why this works exactly. But as you can see in the first column, we have fixed the text overflow by adding min width zero. And now I'm going to add the same to the second column. Notice that I'm adding that to the outside parent of the items. This might not 100% always work for your specific layout, but there's a very good chance that it will. So these are the two things that you should look out for when creating text overflow ellipsis and you want it to work inside your flex containers. 